In July of 2002, Pope John Paul II and 800,000 pilgrims from across the globe journeyed to Toronto, Canada for World Youth Day. They came with immense energy and enthusiasm in great expectation of the week-long celebration of young Catholic faith. But in the midst of that multitude of peoples and cultures, each carrying their distinct banners and flags, was one particular symbol of unity, a cross. University Avenue, one of the busiest streets running through the heart of Toronto, Ontario, lined with finance buildings, hospitals, museums, courthouses, and the Ontario Legislature. It epitomizes the atmosphere of a modern global city. But on the evening of Friday, July 26, 2002, University Avenue was transformed as more than 500,000 young people prayed the Stations of the Cross together. The CBC told Salt and Light that the worldwide television audience that night was more than a billion people in 160 countries. It seemed that for a moment, the city and the world stood still and stood together. The World Youth Day Cross, which had traveled more than 40,000 kilometers across Canada the previous year, from coast to coast to coast, was the focal point for the young pilgrims. A simple, 12-foot wooden cross, the symbol of Christian identity, and a testament to the profound faith of a young generation of Catholics. In this episode of Catholic Focus, we bring you the story of another cross, one that has become the focal point of the Toronto Catholic District School Board's Witness to Faith initiative. Join me as we take an in-depth look at the development of this initiative and see how it has become a living testament to the faith of thousands of students, their parents, and their teachers. The World Youth Day Cross, which is known universally as a great symbol of faith and unity, was first given to the young people of the world by Pope John Paul II in 1984. It was a profound gesture, a gesture of friendship and communion with a younger generation of Catholics. The last time the cross was in Toronto was in the summer of 2002. Now, 10 years later, another cross is being carried through the streets of the city, a cross that was built here at Neil McNeil High School. The high school was founded in 1958 by the members of the Congregation of the Holy Spirit, or the Spiritan Fathers. The all-boys school was named after Neil McNeil, the Archbishop of Toronto from 1912 to 1934. The diverse programs and co-curricular activities offered here create an environment with a distinct Christian flavor. I had the chance to speak to Neil's principal, Michael Wallace, about this and how the construction of the Witness to Faith Cross came about. This school, unlike many of the other schools, has a, um, a a slightly different tradition in that, A, it's an all-boys school, so that, that lends itself to a, a different sort of dynamic in the school. Um, secondly, it has a tradition in serving this community. I, I think that legacy uh, and the, the philosophy, the motto, all lend itself to a different way of looking at, at the world, and it's certainly taking kids to their maximum potential, whatever that is and all done with under the umbrella of a good, strong faith dimension, the Holy Spirit. So that, that is the school in a nutshell. There was a, a request from the um, board uh, with respect to the, the uh, year witness and uh, the, it came across uh, a notion that there would be a cross built that would travel around to all the schools during this year so that it would um, celebrate um, the, the year witness. So I simply um, went to the uh, gentleman who run the tech program here and suggested this might be a good project for the kids and they said sure no problem. Well I think it was a great honor that we were selected to build it. We were asked to build a, a simple cross. Uh, being a technology studies teacher I had to go beyond that and we pushed the envelope. Uh, it was a learning experience and uh, I think the result was quite nice. Somehow we were pecked to do it and um, Mr. Scalpello who's my uh, colleague next door who teaches in the wood shop mainly, uh, he approached me and said we have this cross to build this year and so we were excited about it. We were honored, first of all, that we were picked. And uh, secondly, uh, 
we wanted to put all of our pool all our resources in terms of uh, the design side and the uh, building side. So I'm I was more dealing with how are we going to make this fit together? How are we going to make it uh, uh, um, easy to assemble and disassemble? Because we knew it had to do a lot of traveling. How do we protect it? Uh, so all these little features that are in the cross uh, were thought of beforehand, and we experimented and said, oh yes, that's great. If not, we would start again and, and work on it. Well, actually, they were. They were pretty excited, but more importantly, there were just a, 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 two students that were particularly excited because they were fairly skilled and they're the kind of kids that, you know, they have extra projects all the time. So this was something that they jumped on because they, uh, they saw it as an opportunity to sort of give back to the community. And, uh, you know, they understood the impact of it, but I don't think anybody really understood the bigger impact that it was going to have, but it's been pretty exciting so far. It was a good experience for my behalf it was my first time building uh, m this cross for it for the school so and then now that I built one a lot of people want more well I'd say they came in from the beginning right till the end so they helped design and they helped fabricate it uh, we used the CNC machine so we some of them had to learn how to use program the CNC machine so they could do the carvings uh, they were involved in all aspects of the cross building it did take a lot longer than I thought it would be. It's not as easy as people think it was to build. But it wasn't until we actually finished it and we had our first mass here that uh, I realized the impact it had. And we were so uh, happy that we spent that amount of time to, to complete it the way we wanted it to be built. Uh, because there was an overwhelming, uh, oh, that's wonderful. I didn't think you guys could do that. or. We weren't aware of, of the skills of these students, and, and so we had a lot of positive feedback. Joining me in the Salt and Light Studios today is Jeffrey Grant, who's a superintendent of schools with the Faith Portfolio at the Toronto Catholic District School Board. Jeff, welcome. It's great to be here today. Nice to meet you. Jeff, the Toronto Catholic School Board is in its third year, final year, of a three-year pastoral plan. This year is focusing on witness, but there were also two other themes that have come in the previous two years. Can you explain the general themes, goals, purposes of introducing a three-year pastoral plan? It's really important to have an opportunity to try to uh, bring staff and students together and with our, our co-partners with the parishes and parents as well into some kind of relationship with God. And one of the easiest ways is to have a plan that goes over a three-year uh, time period with a focus word for each year. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the idea of word, worship, and witness. Uh, there's a central team involved. We have the Catholic Teacher Center, we have the Religious Ed Department, and we have student leadership. So they all came together and, and problem solving to give different ideas and, and work together. And we came up with the plan of focusing on scripture in the year of word, in, in the year of worship, uh, an opportunity to have liturgical celebrations and focusing on the Mass. And then, particularly in the year of witness, and, and student outreach and, and working on uh, community service for the year, for the year of witness. It's been a great opportunity. So many wonderful things have come out of it, so many different types of things. We took our curriculum and looked for curricular links throughout that, and we pulled out for the year of word, some uh, opportunities to do work on scripture, for the year of worship, opportunities to work on prayer and liturgical services, for the year of witness, opportunities to look at ways you could witness in your community, your school, and perhaps home. So it's been a great experience for us. And the, and the central focal point of this third year is a cross. I, I do believe that what came out of it, which we weren't expecting, was so many different ways that journey of the cross is brought communities together and had staff and students do wonderful different types of things with the, that we did not expect. For instance, taking it outside and having a whole community of 400 kids create a, a living cross around the cross. And it's, it's pretty exciting. What do you see happening at the schools with um, the cross and the students? How are the students responding to it? Are they engaged with it? What do you see happening? You know, it's really interesting because we go from JK to grade 12 and get a whole range of kids and uh, they 
come at it different ways, from the little kids wanting to touch it and, 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 and feel it, to the older kids that want to be the ones to carry it <laughs> and move it across. So it's really kind of interesting. It's, it's creating that pivotal thing for the kids to actually touch and feel this tangible th sign of our faith. But for the communities, uh, they've done lots of different activities around it. Some have walked it across a public street. They've taken it upon themselves to, instead of having uh, someone drive the cross to the next school, the kids have walked it to the next mm -hmm. school. And all sorts of weather, it's been amazing. And mm -hmm. some have invited their parents to be part of it. Uh, some parents have journeyed with them. We had one particular case where we went into one school and they had the opportunity with their parish to do a liturgical dance around the cross, which was really kind of exciting. So all different ways of coming at our faith in a very positive, student-friendly opportunity. We have an amazing staff at Toronto Catholic that work extremely hard of getting kids very excited about their faith, and they went to town on this and tried I wouldn't even hesitate to say <laughs> over but a thousand different ways of, yeah. of, of showing us the cross. Right. Each school had the opportunity to have it for about a day and a half. Right. And so there was all different types of ways to, for kids to interact with the cross. And we really tried to tie in parishes and also uh, parents wherever possible. Mm -hmm. What about the teachers and the principals? They're taking that initiative to, to do something with that cross while it's visiting the school to make it kid friendly. Mm -hmm community involved and I think that they've been very successful mm -hmm. with that and uh, certainly for us uh, coming in right now to the uh, to the end of the Easter season and that way of the cross that journey of the cross symbolically in a sense we're traveling on that journey of the cross through a whole year and and it's uh, it's interesting we're, we're having the interview now just at this time when it's really an important part of our church year right. and but at the same time for the kids it's bringing it alive and right. that's what it's all about to have them and have an opportunity to engage in the world before God that must stay central I mean how important is it that these expressions of witness of faith of charity of being out in the world beyond the classroom so to speak how important is that for not only our own identity as Christians, as Catholics, but for the society as a whole? It's really important because I think that many of our students go out and do get involved in a lot of community service outreach, get in a lot of different occupations throughout the city and have revitalized the city with their experiences they bring to their jobs. And I think the faith perspective is really important. I know that from my own faith formation, my parents were very strong in their faith and they pass it on to myself and I hope for my own kids that I'm doing the same. And I think that that, that passion for the faith is really what is, is evident throughout the Catholic school system. And you can see visible signs of our faith throughout all the Catholic schools, but more importantly, I think you see the visible sign in the individual themselves as they witness the faith on a daily basis right. and trying to be good to others and, and wherever possible. Mm -hmm. Jeff, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us in the Salt and Light Studios today for your insights, and I want to wish you best of luck as you move forward with uh, you know, the culmination of this pastoral plan and then into the next one. It's been a real pleasure and I hope that you have the opportunity to come out to our schools and see uh, the faith in action because that's really what it's all about and we're Definitely. very proud of our staff and students that have worked extremely hard in this year of this journey of the cross and I'm excited to see next year what they come up with because every day is a new day and they've got lots coming. The Witness to Faith Cross began its journey through the school board in September of 2011. I caught up with it the following February when it arrived at Holy Rosary Elementary School a few kilometers north of the city center. When all the students had arrived, they assembled next door at Holy Rosary Church for a liturgy around the cross. Then they proceeded to carry it outside and around the block as a public witness to their faith. All of the schools received a beautiful, it's about this size, uh, cross from, um, all, made out of olive wood from uh, Bethlehem. And so I introduced the children to the cross and I said, now wait, something bigger is coming and it's going to be at least, you know, six or seven times this size and we're going to have a special celebration around that. 
So they all knew that it was coming. They didn't know quite when, but um, through our communication, newsletters and uh, media, we've also put it out to the community as well. There were a lot of children involved and we, it was not a practice or anything, so it, we didn't know what was going to happen. But in my experience, every time when Jesus or Christ is talked about, the children seem to follow along and they seem to be better behaved than they would normally be. So that's what I expected, a wonderful, peaceful celebration. Our school has a very strong uh, faith uh, base to it. It's a very, very strong Christian base to it. And so the accepting the cross and being part of this community, um, is, is, it's, been, it's been wonderful for the students to see this, this kind of affection happening. Our schools should really be the center of our communities, and especially for Catholic schools. Our schools are really one of the few public spaces where we're allowed to really celebrate our faith these days. So I think uh, the, one of the fantastic things about this program, and one of the, it's great that the school is having the procession, is that it reminds the community that uh, our Catholic schools are in their community, uh, and that they are different. And uh, what's different about it is that the center of it is Christ. Uh, and what's great about this third year of Word Worship Witness is that the students need to realize that after they've read the Word uh, and after they've partaken in the sacraments, uh, that uh, God and Jesus uh, is expecting them to act on their faith. And so uh, this is just a, a great part of all of that. I think that um, anything that is involves the whole school that's completely out of the routine and becomes very memorable to, to, the, to the children and to the staff because uh, we knew that this was coming. We knew as a staff that uh, um, it was something very special. I think that the feeling this morning was of being peaceful and being part of a larger group of, as a community. And I think that that's the purpose of the cross is to join people together. The fact is that our Catholicity is happening in our schools every day, uh, and it's happening not only in what we're teaching our students, but in just the entire school environment and, and what's happening in that school, uh, and you know how we're teaching our students, how we're disciplining our students, how the students are treating each other. But I think that uh, any faith, you need that witness element, uh, and that the larger community needs to see needs to be perceived to see that faith in action. So what's great about this kind of initiative is that it's not only faith in our schools, but it's faith in the community and it's the bringing together of the school and the community. I also had the opportunity to visit St. Joseph's College School, a community with a long and successful tradition of educating young women. Situated in the heart of Toronto, St. Joe's is a minute's walk from the Ontario Legislature and the University of Toronto. A block south runs University Avenue, the site of the Stations of the Cross, at World Youth Day in 2002. Carrying the Witness to Faith Cross, the students of St. Joe's processed to different stations in the area where a group prayer was said, each with an intention for the social workers, doctors, firefighters, teachers, and public servants of the local community. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Together, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O faithful God, we are blessed with world-class hospitals. Watch over all healthcare workers, patients, and their families who are associated with the Toronto General, Princess Margaret, Mount Sinai, Sick Children's, and Toronto Rehab Hospitals. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Today, the visible presence of a cross in the heart of a modern global city can seem unusual, but it's nothing new to Toronto. And the powerful witness that the students of the Toronto Catholic District School Board are making rekindles not only the spirit of World Youth Day, but the spirit of the Catholic faith, which always seeks to break out into the world and share the good news. Like the World Youth Day Cross, the Witness to Faith Cross has become a symbol of unity across Toronto. And again, it is young people bringing that unity about by collectively and publicly witnessing to the Catholic faith that is alive in our schools. The Toronto Catholic District School Board has recently introduced a new pastoral plan for the next three years, which focuses on the primary virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Certainly, a compelling argument can be made 
for the urgent need to revive these virtues at every level of society, both locally and across the country. If you'd like to learn more about the Witness to Faith Cross or about the Toronto Catholic District School Board's new pastoral plan, please visit their website at www.tcdsb.org. Today questions are being raised about the relevancy of a separate Catholic school system in Ontario, but it is evident from the initiatives like the Witness to Faith Cross that there is something profoundly unique about the way education is done in Catholic schools, something that cultivates academic achievement and character formation, something that in the end moves on from the classroom to manifest itself in the very fabric of our society. That anchoring, that grounding uh, that the cross provides and their faith provides is, is immeasurable. That overall feeling that when you walk into a Catholic school, you feel the presence of uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, um, in anyone you talk to, and in the visuals that you see around. I specifically chose this board because I wish to be part of the Catholic faith. I wish to continue that progress. And I enjoy being able to take what is the traditions of our community and then to uh, foster them onto the next generation. I don't think we should be afraid of what we are and what we stand for. And uh, if it means taking a cross out uh, on a procession around a school to show the neighborhood this is what we do, we should be proud of it. These children are really, really lucky uh, to have that and I'm hoping, I hope that it does spread and, and that it becomes uh, a light for, for like the, the, the song said, that we are the children of the light and I see that hope in them, I see it.